Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you've been following the build series for this long, you know that in the last video, we completely tore down this engine. And in today's video, we're gonna to be totally rebuilding it from the ground up and getting it back to where it belongs, back in the chassis. So as you can see, I've already taken the time to sand down the block here. So we're ready to throw the gaskets on, just need to get the heads ready to go here. Also, finally got the turbo fully rebuilt. Huge shout out to Alamo Industries in Edmonton here for getting this guy balanced together and throwing on that wicked wheel. Customer service is absolutely over the top. They did a phenomenal job. Can't say enough good things about them. So if you guys have any turbos you're looking to get rebuilt, take them over to Alamo. Talk to Andy, he's an absolute beauty. Got the heads back from machine shop as well. So they're ready to go, still wrapped up. Got a set of brand new injectors that we can throw in and an entire rebuild Molly kit here as well that we're gonna be throwing into the truck. So buckle up and get ready for some mechanical magical moments. All right, so now that we got the head studs in, we got the bridges on, the push rods are on, the rocker arm assembly is on and everything is torqued down to spec. So now we need to get the other side on because then we can adjust the valves before we put the valve covers on. So this is going to magically be done in three, two, and just like that, the passenger side is done as well. Now we can finally start the tedious task of adjusting these valves. Now I've already set this right to dead center, so we're good there. And now we just need to grab our 14 mil and our flathead and start breaking these guys off. Right off Merchant Automotive's website, they have this diagram and it shows you which intake and exhaust to do first. Um, so this is your left side here, your right side, and then essentially you do your reds first, and then you're gonna turn the motor over 360 degrees, then you're gonna go ahead and do your yellows and then you'll turn the engine over 10 revolutions and then everything should be set. You just go through and readjust if there is anything out of spec. But now that that is all ready to go, let's start adjusting some valves. Valves are officially adjusted. I went through it twice just to double check and make sure that everything was good. So next steps are we're gonna get the intake manifolds put on. So got one of them here, it's all prepped and clean and then got some new sealant that came with the kit that I've got. So we'll lay a nice fat bead around there and then drop it on and then come back to the other side and then we'll do start putting some valve covers on. guys just like that we got the intake manifolds on and both upper and lower valve covers on 
And man, that looks unreal. The first pop of blue on the engine and things are starting to come together. That looks absolutely killer. So next, I guess we can start fitting up the Y-Bridge and then the turbo and then getting all of the accessory brackets put on the front and then also just throwing in all the new seals and everything that we can as we build. But man, it's looking good so far. All right, guys, well, we pretty much got all the accessory brackets on the front here. I had to take off the front one here just to get this coolant tube back in. And then also I wanna be able to get that hose in there, so it's just off for right now. But everything else is pretty much together. Our next steps are gonna be dropping all the injectors in. And then after that, we can go ahead and put our fuel rails and all of our fuel lines on top. So that's what we're gonna get into next. Got all brand new injectors sitting here on the bench, ready to go. So let's drop them in. Well, there you have it guys. The engine is officially back in the chassis and man, I could not be happier with how this thing turned out. Everything looks so good. The black and the blue just looks so clean. And yeah, like I said, I could not be happier with how everything turned out. Dropping it in was super easy with the gantry. So that was a big plus. I was able to do it by myself. Uh, the only things I haven't thrown on yet are the power steering and the water separator, just because I do need to still throw on a new line there, which I do have, I just haven't thrown it on yet. The other thing is the engine harness, which I've just got sitting on the bench over here. I haven't thrown this on yet because I just haven't had the time to go through and clean everything up. So that's probably something I'll do off camera is just clean it up. And I'm actually gonna rewrap the entire thing to make it look nice and new again. So that's just gonna be a really tedious job that just gotta get done. Uh, in the next video, I think what we're gonna go ahead and do is install the fast fuel system along with the exhaust system and then get all of our fuel lines and power steering and brake lines all plumbed in along with the entire chassis harness and a few other things. So stay tuned for that. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like or a comment below and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.